Welcome everyone to Almost Cancelled, I am Peter and today I'm going to be talking about Murderville Episode 1, it is the new show from Netflix. I'll start spoiler free, although to be honest I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of spoilers outside of maybe spoiling a couple of jokes. This is a new comedy show, it stars Will Arnett and he plays a detective in a, you know, comedy cop show, but the, the gimmick of the show is, is that each episode has a guest star who is his partner, and the guest star plays themselves. So in this first episode, it's Conan O'Brien playing Conan O'Brien, uh, sort of being a, a trainee homicide detective partner for a day. Uh, and then there's some others. I know uh, Camille Nanjiani is going to be in an episode. Uh, I think Ken Jeong's in an episode later. Uh, it's only a six-episode show, and it's based on a British show uh, with a different title, but... Uh, that's the basic gist of it, so it's super, you know, heightened, the, the, the logic of the, the, the crime is really silly. I mean, I have to admit, the fact that this first episode has them investigating a, a murder that takes place during a magic show, meaning that they're questioning magicians and talking a lot about magicians, was slightly amusing because obviously Will Arnett played Job on Arrested Development, whose whole thing is that he was a magician and he hated that no one took his magicianing seriously. Uh, so that's vaguely amusing, but to be honest, I have to say that I did not particularly enjoy this first episode. There was a couple of jokes that I thought were funny, but that that's it. <laughs> a couple out of, uh, you know, for a show that was just constantly trying to be funny, I found a lot of it kind of just off and uh, maybe a little try hard at times. And I think what's frustrating about it is that a lot of the, the humour it's going for, I think in theory I would like. Like, I, I think I, in theory I would like uh, some of the throwaway gags that it's trying to sort of put in, but it kind of it goes a little bit too over the top with them in places, maybe just a little too cartoony, where it just it takes it beyond my taste and humour. Admittedly, this may be fairly subjective though, comedy tends to be, but I found a lot of the the jokes just a little silly. Um, I found myself rolling my eyes more than anything else. Um, there, there is one or two that did kind of win me over a little bit by the end, but for the most part, Will Arnett's character, who's like, he's going for this gruff cop who is not really actually good at anything, uh, that's kind of the joke. To be honest, for the most part, I wasn't super into that. I, I imagine the guest star and the humor they bring and their personality might change each episode a little bit. You know, I, you know, I can imagine some of them will bring a completely different tone to how they react to to Will Arnett's character. But uh, I, I don't know. I, it, it's not. I don't like Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien's fine. Um, I, I'm not like I don't worship at the altar of Conan O'Brien as a lot of people seem to on the internet. But he's he's. You know, he's fine. I don't have anything, anything against him. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the actual murder case is kind of just backdrop for a series of scenarios. So in this episode, they question a magician, they question uh, the the ex-assistant, like, because it's uh, the assistant who is murdered at the, 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 the crime in question, and they also infiltrate a group of mums who hate magic and think magicians are like a conduit for Satan or something stupid like that. Um, and it's basically just a, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a vehicle to have them in these variety of situations. Half of the jokes tend to be making fun of cop TV tropes and, you know, t doing things like, or their version of good cop, bad cop, or bad cop, worse cop, or uh, like, Corn O'Brien saying things that he's heard on TV to try and sound cool, or it just, you know, stuff like that. It's kind of poking fun at some tropes. Um, other times, it's more just, like, random jokes that it's set up. Honestly, like, I, I don't even think it's a spoiler to say that the, the one of the few running jokes that I kind of liked, and part of this might be because it's Will Arnett and, like, I know his character from Arrested Development, but him actually being gobsmacked, get it, job smacked, uh, at the magic. Like, he, he, he freaks out and calls it sorcery and, like, holds up a chair at one point saying that that's, you know, that's scary sorcery. Uh, but in an as in he's impressed by how spectacular it is. But the, the magic tricks in question are all just the first things that every magician learns and shows everyone. Uh, 
you know, and then that, that's basically it. Like, that, that's all I really had uh, for, like, in terms of jokes that I liked. There's, there's one kind of related joke, one related line of dialogue that I kind of liked. But, you know, there's stuff in this that's, you know, it's, it's like characters eating hot chili and struggling to talk. It's um, just repeating kind of things and sort of bickering. Uh, an example of a joke early on that I thought, like, I, th- I thought could be funny, like, depending if they changed it a little bit, is Will Arnett says that his previous partner that he, like, died in, like, 2006, and he points to a photo, and the photo for, you know, is of Jennifer Aniston, right? She's not Jennifer, I mean, she's got a different name, but that's who's playing this character on the wall. And he mentions, oh, nothing, we've not touched our desk since 2006 out of respect. And it's like, you know, this classic silly comedy thing where there's cobwebs on the desk and the hamster cage has got a skeleton in it and it's this perfectly clean white skeleton that doesn't look real and then there's some jokes about like feeding the hamster blah, blah. and it just like the entire thing was making me roll my eyes when i thought you know what there, there could have been a funny joke here like you know we've not even touched their desk and you could have put you could have found something to put in our desk that would actually be funny that it was still sitting there Instead, it was like they raided the like the local Halloween shop of some like spooky props and put it around the desk, and it it kind of robbed it of any like I don't know like instead of being witty, it just felt like childhood humor to me, and I didn't really get a whole lot out of it. Um, so, so I'm, I'm giving that example because it was kind of like, it was one of the early ones where I was just like, oh, I don't think this is working for me uh, at all. Um, which is a shame because I I think it playing with the tropes in it, maybe like targeting some better running jokes because it, it's worth I mean it's notable the the, the one running joke I kind of liked was had nothing to do with the the premise of the show really you know it had nothing to do with him being a cop or them trying to solve a murder it was just his reaction to a, a subject that was only relevant in this episode because of the case details um so yeah. I think that's all I've got. <laughs> like, this is the shortest review I've ever done. But there's not really a lot to talk about in terms of the plot. Uh, if I, so I'll give the spoiler warning and just sort of like tell you the one line of dialogue I thought was funny. So, he, uh, he sends in Conan O'Brien to infiltrate this Mums Against Magic group. And he is doing okay for a bit and but then he, they kind of catch on that he's lying and they start like yelling at him and he runs to hide in a closet once i was i, was, I almost said job there uh, once well on hears that he's in trouble he runs in and he gets them all to leave because this is a group that hates magic and thinks it's the devil he runs into this woman's house her house you know just runs into her house and yells the the phrase there's a guy outside asking a kid to pick a card and no one reacts so after a pause he then goes any card and then they all run out that was actually a really funny line that is a that is a legitimately funny joke <laughs> the pause and then saying you know because that's what they always say pick a card any card right so the pause before any card because no one reacted to the first part but then they all stormed out in fury at any card that was a funny joke. One of the few funny jokes in this. The, the other funny stuff being Will Arnett freaking out because when interviewing the magician and he starts just doing tricks to like try and impress or like distract them, he's like freaking out and thinks it's the best thing he's ever seen whilst Conan O'Brien's not very impressed. That was a pretty decent little joke, right? That kind of kept going. Um, but that, that was kind of all I really got, got from. I wasn't really... like. I, I guess a good example of a scene that I thought should have been great is a little girl at the magic show because the way the murder happens is that effectively the 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 magician who like is at the crime scene he he accidentally murders his assistant because he's done the saw through the you know the coffin trick but it actually just kills her it's a real saw someone someone has swapped out the, the 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 prop saw and the props with a real saw and she's dead there's a little girl who comes up to them and says hey, when is the magician going to put her back together? And Will Arnett says, oh, no, 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 uh, I'm not going to answer this. Hey, Conan will answer this. And he leaves and Conan O'Brien spends like three minutes of screen time in a 35-minute episode talking to this girl and saying, no, she's dead. And it becomes this debate about 
Like, is magic real? Is she going to heaven? If she does go to heaven, is she still in two halves? Like, and it just kind of kept going. And this was a weird moment because I, I didn't think any of this was that good. But this is the usual. This is something that I normally think is really funny. Maybe it's just out of the delivery. Maybe it's out of the script. Maybe Conan O'Brien's like, like uh, the way he delivers the lines just isn't like suited to my taste. But normally, being blunt with a child, ch- with a child, and making her like uncomfortable or cry or whatever is usually something I can get into. Although she doesn't actually get upset and cry, she kind of just starts debating things with him. Which I could see how that could be funny, but I wasn't really finding it funny in the scene. So yes, there you go. That's murder. <laughs> so it's a thirty, you know, five minute comedy show. Um, outside of just re- regurgitating jokes, there's not really much I can uh I can do here. Um, so there you go. I, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, what have I not mentioned? Oh yeah, the uh the police officer in charge is uh Will Arnett's ex wife. And she comes in and like confirms if uh Conan solved the case or not. And even though he used like really weird logic, he actually picked the right person. Somehow the police know who the killer is already. Like it's a game of Cluedo or Clue for the Americans. Uh, so there you go. That's Murderville. I I I mean I wouldn't say don't try it because maybe the humor will work for you and it'll be a fun six episodes. It wasn't painful to get through because it was short enough. But some of the humor didn't work for me at all, and then a lot of it I thought was actually just kind of lame, and it's a shame. I wasn't—I don't know what to expect. To be honest, I kind of went in with like no expectations, but this this was just the comedy was off the mark for me uh, in a big way, barring like two things. So uh, there you go. That is uh, my thoughts on Murderville episode one. Obviously, I won't be checking out the rest, but by all means, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, ding the bell for notifications, all that stuff, and get us on Twitter at mail underscore fuzz for channel updates. If you want to support us financially, you can go over to patreon.com slash TV and support us over there for as little as a dollar per month and keep all the content coming. But thank you very much uh, for joining me. And worth mentioning as well that this is reviewed because I came high on the priority uh, Patreon vote uh, list. So, uh, here we go. That was Murderville. So thanks once again for watching or listening. I always appreciate it. Keep watching TV. Have you got any vanilla?